Hi, this is Charting Man Dan of TheChartGuys.com, home of technical analysis education. Click the link for a free week trial, no credit card required, and gain access to our multiple live broadcasts daily, community chat room, educational videos, nightly watch lists, and more. Invest in your education and future and join the community today. Hello everyone, looking at VRX, congrats to the Bulls and hopefully, or congrats to the Bears, and hopefully anybody that was a Bull got stopped out long ago, hopefully. So, VRX on the daily time frame, we had bearish news today at the end of the day, investigation, whatever it is, big time bear dump on high volume. Looks like some inside info on Friday, as we see a big dump on big volume then as well, and there are so many exits on when to get out here in terms of being a bull first one was back here when the middle bollinger band support was lost then we lost the 50 day the 100 day all moving averages resistance then even if you're still in we built a base of support 2120 traded sideways bulls trying to get it together to see short-term upside as soon as 2120 breaks that is another leg to the downside and obviously it was a big leg so we are oversold where do we go from here well we need to find support and we have to go back six years to find the next support on vrx we have now given back in about oh 14 months we have now given back the previous five years of bullish upside stairs up elevator down and it's way more than an elevator it is an all-out dump so next support and i don't even have it on this chart i gotta zoom out even further let's go seven years and there's a gap so there's a gap down here at 1413 back in 2010 maybe that's a target we'll be looking at and support other than that i'm looking at 1730 we'll see if we head down there shortly so what stood out to me we were looking for a bullish entry in vrx let's zoom back in on the weekly and it was when this this middle bollinger band was clear resistance and it was resistance for about a year and it finally became support so this is when I started paying attention to VRX looking for the bulls and I wanted entry on a back test and hold of the middle Bollinger Band support because the bullish break happened. Now I want proof of that strength on a back test and hold. So we did see a bullish reversal hammer form off the 10 week moving average support. That's when I started really paying attention, pointing it out to members saying, get ready. We might be looking for a bullish entry here if we get any follow through on this candlestick. Obviously we didn't. Fortunately we didn't. And we lost that middle Bollinger Band support, the next candlestick, absolutely no follow through for the bulls. And then we've seen five weeks in a row of straight downside since then. So that was the warning flag that the bears were in control when the bulls could not form a higher low and try and reverse that trend by holding the middle Bollinger Band. And a similar play is Twitter. And Twitter gained that middle Bollinger Band as support after it was resistance for months and months and months. And here's the difference. It back tested and held that support a couple times and then continued to the upside with some nice short term big gains. So Twitter was an all out bear, turned that middle Bollinger Band on the weekly into support, back tested and held it three times and then continued to the upside. Obviously, it's a bear now with all those rumors and drama, whatever. But the point being, the inability to back test and hold that support showed the weakness. And now we're getting that follow through. And now we're going to look at some other plays that Ackman is involved in. Let's see if they get some bleed over as well. CMG is notably bearish. That's been on our bet resident bear list for about half a year now. And we had just had a key break of support. We had members on bearish plays today for CMG. So watching to see if Ackman is going to go bankrupt. So we'll see from here. Obviously, VRX bears are in full control. Bounces will be anticipated to be oversold bounces and short-lived. And again congrats to bears and if any bulls are still in this name it is a huge glaring red flag to learn about and utilize stop losses on every single trade so i appreciate you watching and we'll check back in at some point in the future